Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, Ophelia hid in their brother Laertes's chambers and heard them have sex with Brit. That was... that happened. Anyway, <laughs> we don't have anything that's going to happen for a while right now. At 6.30... yeah, 6.30 Horatio and Gertrude are going to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. I want to be there for that. But until then, the night is free. There's two events going on right now. One is the graveyard with Polonius. I don't think I want to... Actually, maybe I do want to do that. If I go there to Polonius, perhaps I could do the thing to get the key again from Polonius. Um, I'm not sure. It's going on for a while more. I probably could make it. There's also something going on in the guards' quarters, or about to go on, with Marcellus. Not sure what that is. Should I try to go to the graveyard? I... Yeah, okay, okay. Let's see if we can make it. Did I make it in time? Oh yeah, plenty of time. Do I have to talk with them? Or is this an event that I take part in? Or do I just talk with them? I don't remember. Anyway, we've done this before, so I'll just cut to when something new happens. I've changed my mind about what I want to do here, actually. What if I talk about what my father burned before they actually burned anything? Pretty sure at this point they haven't burned anything. Father, I know you were burning some secretive documents in your room. Can you explain why? Yeah, not surprisingly, they're a bit surprised that I know about that. Ah, right. He hasn't burned them yet in this world. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what you mean, my love. Don't, don't worry your head over it. I gave them a heckin' fright. Does that mean now they're sure to burn them? <laughs> Are you going to make the prophecy come true, Polonius? I don't know. Something between Irma and Marcellus. Oh, and something between... Oh, something else between Laertes and Lady Brit. Are they fucking in the Royal Gallery now, too? Let's go to the guards' quarters. See if I can catch this. This is very satisfying to zip forwards. Oh no! I missed it. This event's still happening, although... Laertes isn't there anymore? No, they're back up in their quarters. Ophelia's current event is interrupted by a sudden interlude. What? What is this? Oh, I totally forgot about the ghost on the walls at midnight. Right! It's nearly time now. Go to the walls? Yes. Spirit! Are you here? Indeed. I am that body once called King Hamlet. It does look just like Hamlet's father. Do you remember me, my lord? In vague silhouettes and shadows, a memory in death is a struggle. It is faint and infrequent. I recall you were a young girl once, such a rambunctious child. I knew you then. Yes, you did. There's something I need to confirm. You also experience time repeating? I do. In the graveyard, you told me to meet you here, now, but that was a different world. Yes, a world now forever locked behind time's barrier. You came to protect Gertrude. The desire to see her safe is often the only thing powerful enough to rouse me. But in this world, she does not even know of my existence. Would that she and I could speak alone just once. 
Oh, that's something I'm going to make happen. I have only a single selfish request. But it may be of use to you. What is it? Seek out your father. Watch what he does when he believes he is alone. Would that be the whole burning thing or something else? Oh no, that's the burning thing. My notes. My notes taken by him out of love, out of protection. They contain the terrifying details of my ordeal. Details I cannot recall. Things too hazy to remember fully. But that ordeal is the reason I still linger, trapped here. Find the notes, and there may be freedom for us both. What? You're saying you don't remember any of this? How can that be possible? I cannot. There are stronger forces than I at work. Even now, I can only hold my form for so long. Everything from before I walked these walls is distant. Find those pages. They rest in your father's care. Please. Acquire the information the king's notes. Learns more about lost notes now, Ash. Can I... Oh, yes, we can talk about... Well, they're not interested in most things. But quite a few things. I wonder what their answers are going to be like, given that memory is so difficult for them. Tell me about Queen Astrid. Uh, your mother, Queen Astrid. What more can you tell me? Spirit. Ah. Uh. She passed when Claudius and I were both children. Evidently, she died of childbirth with my brother. One more life he's ruined in this world, I expect. It matters not. My father loved her, at least in front of the court, and I remember her very little. Come to think of it, your father and your mother were both ardently devoted to her. The two of us are outside the flow of all time, right? Yes. In a way, it is peaceful. All suffering is, in one way or another, caused by death or the fear of it. Now that fear is removed forever, replaced by an equally deep boredom. Even still, this boredom is refreshing at the moment. Though I anticipate it, too, will grow old. And when it does, well, to divest oneself of the fear of death, one need only give in to it. How does one divest oneself of eternal boredom? I suppose you'd start acting strangely, doing all sorts of things to pass the time. Indeed. A most frightening prospect. Greetings. Do you know anything about the strange vision I've been having? The one where all the castle dies? You should know by now. Those are the events that were meant to come to pass. That is the tragic fate, which is written before you. For mine own self, it was my poisoning. To think you can find a future where that does not happen is futile. Give up the sooner and you will drift into endless sleep. So they've been trying for a while, and they did not find a solution. What do you know of Peter Quince, the playmaster? Spirit. Ah. Oh. The details are indescribably hazy. It is hard to remember. But I recall he was kind to me. Kinder than I deserved. 
considering I was not able to help him. Help him with what exactly? It was a pressing request of his, something I could not find. My memories drift away like fog. Retrieve my final writings from your father. Perhaps then we can make sense of this nothingness. Uh, so I can ask about uh, where their personal journals are. I mean, I know where they are, Spirit. but let's see if there's anything new here. I cannot. Yep, nothing of significance there. Um, do I want to tell the spirit about the affair? Do they already know? They probably know, right? Yes. I knew. Okay, good. Hmm. It doesn't seem to trouble you. It does not. I made my peace with it long before my death. Though they were only one in body, near the end of my life, their feelings for one another extended to far before that. Something in Gerda and I died far sooner when the others did. The others? Ah, it would not be common knowledge for anyone other than Irma and Goethe, I expect. Hamlet was our first living child, but Goethe was with child before that, four times in all. The first she lost very near to birth. We thought the child might live, but we were wrong. The second and third emerged simply as a stream of blood. She saw each loss as a failure unto herself. After we lost our third child, I no longer knew what to say to her, and she to me. If she could not give me an heir, she could not fulfill her duties as queen as she saw them, and to her that was the gravest failing of all. When she was with child a fourth time, she had already picked out a place to bury him in the graveyard. So certain was she that he would die. But Hamlet lived, and our miracle son was born. Oh. Claudius knew nothing of the lost children, as far as I know. He was a comfort to her. He was warm and gentle to her in ways I was not. Over time, that comfort grew to familiarity, then to affection, then to love. I witnessed it, and I did not stop it. My wife has suffered enough in this life, improper though it may be for a man to allow his wife to be wooed by his brother. If it would purchase her one single shred of happiness, I would overlook nearly anything in the world for Goethe. I... I had no idea. My sincerest apologies for prying, King Hamlet. Wait, what? The, the ghost now believes that Queen Gertrude was unfaithful? But they said they already knew. My father's murderer. My father died by Hamlet's hand. Listen. Hamlet killed my father in cold blood, and he's going to do it again. I warned him to stay his hand, but he listened not. Grow used to the sting of loss, Ophelia. You will see it many hundreds of times before you are free. And then the final one. I know that your brother murdered you by pouring poison in your ear. Then you know only one small piece of it. I've suffered far more than anyone, even you, can understand. Perhaps one year, one century from now, then you may come to comprehend. What event is going to happen in Melodius' chambers? 
Is that the burning, probably? They're at the forest path, probably coming back from the graveyard, so they're probably on their way there now. Okay, let's go. Yep. Father. Uh, this is the same conversation we had before. Stop! Hmm. Just been passing some time. It's about three in the morning, and apparently something is going to happen by the docks. Wait, is this where I scare you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've done this before. Ophelia. Brit? Well, Horatio and Gertrude are about to have a heart to heart. My lady. Of course. <laughs> Yesterday I spilled all my secrets to you, my queen. Are you going to return the favor? Hmm. You want to know about me? Is that so surprising? No, it's just... I've never been asked before. Where to begin? Hmm. When I was a girl in Bohemia, my father the emperor once told me I would be one of the most powerful women in the world. And he was right. He sent me here to Denmark when I was just a girl. I grew up here, between Copenhagen and Elsinore, betrothed to Hamlet's father. I followed Hamlet everywhere. He was all I knew for a time, the only friend I had. He and Claudius, his brother, and my elder sister, Margaret. Now then. My elder sister, Margaret, stayed behind in Austria. She's very powerful now, with a land all to her own, and armies at her beckon. I suppose this is all a very different life from the one you've lived. I hope I'm not offending. No. On the contrary, I find it very interesting. What became of your sister Margaret? Do you speak to her still? Yes. Margaret was everything to me when we were young. I loved her more than life itself. When I came to Elsinore, I wrote her letters every day, and she wrote back sometimes. But it was always to encourage me to cease contact, to study more, to love my new country and forget Austria entirely. Eventually, she stopped responding entirely, and I haven't seen her since. Mm. I missed her. I still dream of her sometimes, of us playing as children again. I see. I'm so sorry, my lady. How perfectly awful. I've never had siblings, but I can imagine. <sighs> it is no matter. All the love I had for Margaret, I've poured into my husband and son. I hope they've appreciated it. Learn about a future event in which Horatio and Gertrude have a heart to heart. Ah, so they're going to do this again tomorrow. All right. Apologies, but I must go. Yep. See you tomorrow. What other events are on the docket? <laughs> what do I have penciled in for Friday? Provide some suggestions for Quince's performance. Oh, that's happening like now and it's happening here. So I guess I might as well be here for that. I may have already seen it before, I'm not quite sure. Quince, my lord. Hmm. I can't remember if we've seen this before. We certainly know what it's all about, anyway. Um, something appropriately sobering, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like to add a line or two myself. Oh yeah, 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 we've seen this. There's also a couple things happening in the Great Hall and the Chapel. The ladies and the Queen and the King. I'm curious about the chapel. Let's go there. Hope I make it in time. No! 
Damn it. Okay, well, something's going to happen in the Great Hall. Cat. Edgar. Edgar. Good name. My lord. I recommend a bit of targeted spying first. Maybe we can learn something that will help us. Hmm. Very well, Polonius. If that is what you think best. I shall give you another chance to prove yourself. Let us hope you learn something of use. Yes. Perhaps if we catch him and my daughter together, I can finally show my theories are justified. Hmm. Yes. What's going on in here? Rosie? Oh yeah, this... Ah, I'm getting confused about what timeline we're on and what happens when. We've seen this before, right? This is where they tell Irma that they don't have of the money? Of course. Okay, something's about to happen in the chapel, apparently. To be or not to be. And something's gonna happen here. Ah, that's gonna be them getting the moss, right? Whether it's nobler to try and suffer through the pain, or turn our backs to all of it and welcome the inevitable embrace of death a little earlier. To die, to sleep no more, and by sleeping I mean to end the heartache, the thousand little pains I have to bear. I wish I could just die, sleep, sleep, and maybe dream. That would be it. Who knows what I might dream of in death. What do you think, Ophelia? Hamlet, I can't listen to you go on like this. Not anymore. There are still things of yours in my room. I'd prefer you took them back. Honest as always, and ever so naive. I loved you once for those very qualities. I believed it. You shouldn't have. Then I was the more deceived. You'd be better off as a nun. You'd make an excellent nun, you know. Don't involve yourself with men like me. We're all alike, deep down. And someday, some man will crumple you like a flower underfoot. If we should do away with marriage altogether, no good has ever come from it, or ever will. You are a fool if you truly believed me. Ophelia, I never loved you. I don't believe that. I don't even think he believes that. But he's in a fit. Yeah, what else do we have coming up? Quince puts on the play that Hamlet designed. That's it there. When do I get stabbed? Is it today? Or have I averted that? I guess I've averted that because Laertes is here, right? Ooh, something's gonna happen here. Oh, is this the conversation between the ladies that I think I missed for some reason? Yeah, I think it is. Actually, no, I think we've seen this before. Also, um, Gertrude is inside of Lady Guildenstern. <laughs> Think Hamlet's being simply terrible. He's suspicious of us. Yes, we've seen this before. Irma, Laertes, and the king. And Brit, and Bernardo, and Gertrude, and Polonius. Oh, it's the feast. Well, I don't care to attend. What's going to happen in the Royal Gallery? Ah, right. Just the two ladies hanging out in here. Oh, 
something's gonna happen in the forest path. Oh, that's probably them going picking for mushrooms, the ladies. But I missed that. I missed that event before. Yes, let's go. Come on, ladies. Like idiots. Um. How many do we need to gather again? Ten dozen. We didn't bring anything to carry them in, so I'll have to use my skirts. Gilda. Stop eating them. Uh. <laughs> but we've been working all day, and I'm hungry. Uh. You're unbelievable. Learn about a future event in which Rosencrantz and Guildenstern complete their mission. Is that likely to happen? Yes. Before it was listed as unlikely, I think. In the last loop that I played, I think, and I don't know why, but that's a nice change of pace. Ah, uh, King Claudius begging for forgiveness in the chapel, I think. I'm just looking at the minimap, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing when I'm doing that. Just waiting for something blue to appear. Oop. Is Laertes on their way to Lady Brit? Probably. Oh, no. No, no, they're just in there on their own. Who were you? They're looking at Queen Astrid. Oh. Astrid. Queen Astrid. Such a sad, longing face for a queen. And such beautiful color work. True artistry. Huh? I wonder if I could replicate this technique. Oh. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you? Not a you, Feely. Did I ask to be accosted? Why are you here? Brit. You sound lonely for a girl who has the company of the queen herself. Yes, well, oh. the company of a queen means very little. Ask Astrid herself. Ah, right, you can't, because she's dead. Acquired the information Lady Brockenhoose? Who's Lady Brockenhoose? Is that the fuller name of Lady Brit? Learn about the melancholy of Lady Brit. Is that the end of that? Yes. Is that like a lead? It is. Brit has never been warm to me, but these days she seems especially down. I wonder if anyone has any ideas as to how I could reach her. Hmm. I mean, probably Laertes, right? Where is Laertes? I should go speak with them. In their chambers. You know Lady Brit better than most. <laughs> Thinking back to the fact that we were in the room as they fucked. I mean, as they, like, we were in there for the whole thing. Not even like, oh, they're going to fuck. I better get out of this room. Remember, we stayed there for the whole thing. We heard our brother... Come. Anyway. Laertes. You know Lady Brit better than most. Ophelia knows Lady Brit better than most, too. <laughs> Do you know what's got her in such a strange mood? <gasps> what's wrong with Brit? Did she say something to you? Uh... Not exactly, but something's amiss, I can tell. I just met with her the other night. <laughs> she has a lot on her mind. I'd give her some space, Ophelia. Let her sort things out. Perhaps if I'd approached him before this meeting, he would have spoken on my behalf. Wait. Spoken... 
Wait, what? Before what meeting? Before, before this meeting right here? As in if I had spoken to him earlier? I don't understand what that means. I can tell Laertes about Brit's situation, and he will agree to stay behind and check in on her. Hopefully that meeting will go well. Wait. So, is that an event where they're going to check up on them? I don't understand. Um. Oh, before... Before the meeting. Oh, before we hear them fuck. Before that meeting, I'm supposed to tell them that. I see. Okay. What event is happening in Gertrude's chambers right now? Mm, Marcellus is out there. So, I wouldn't be able to get in there. Get the key. Yoink. That's great, but I'm still not going to be able to get in. Oh no, it's Polonius and Gertrude. Uh oh. Is this where Polonius dies? Hamlet. Oh, they're upset. I can't even. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Fuck. Alright, well. Polonius is dead then. Unless, I don't know, is there something I can do? Can I say like, hey, why don't you get in there? Hmm. No. None of these would do anything. Is open for a second. How did things go? Have fun murdering my father. You little fuck. Okay, now what's going on down by the docks? Lady Brit again. <gasps> Ophelia. Again? Explain yourself. It's a nice evening for a walk. It's freezing down here. I like looking at all the ships. Harbor's empty. I wanted to see what you were up to. Mm-hmm. There it is. Good night. Another meeting in here. I mean, that's just got to be the whole paying off debts, telling Irma that they've completed it thing. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. no, no, no. They didn't complete their mission before. Right. Somebody died here. That would be Polonius. Huh. Horatio and Gertrude are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart. the day after Gertrude saw Hamlet murder Polonius. So that heart-to-heart's going to be interesting. Yeah, let's get in there with the ladies. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, ah, the news about our father being dead. Oh, that's nice. The game is like, okay, we know you've seen this before. Do you want to go through the whole schmeel? No. I'd rather be alone right now. I don't want to miss that heart to heart, but I think I have time to go to the kitchen first. <clears throat> your reign of tyranny has come to an end, Irma. We've done everything on your list. <laughs> Such helpful lasses. I see we arranged everything I asked for. We'll have a stew of champions this eve. Now be gone. You're both horrid at cards and even worse at paying your gambling debts. 
Oh, we actually caught this part of the conversation at one point before we, I think before we knew what they were even talking about. Now we actually know what they're talking about. Things are settled. You've added a single coin to the pile, but I intend to shake you for the rest of some later date. So debt not paid. Don't deal on my Never. table again. And... That. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, something... Laertes and Hamlet. Between something on the wall. Hold on. Uh, the heart-to-heart -heart is going to end very soon. I need to get there. His mind's all strange at the moment. He's killed a man. No court will want him. He shall be an outlaw in reputation, if not in name. I fear for his immediate future. I... Horatio, what will I do? I just... Oh. Whatever is to happen to my son, when it has been done, I am sure things will be made right in the end. I see. Everything will be all right, my lady. You must hope so. I certainly do. I bid you adieu, and I you. We're going to meet again tomorrow, hopefully. Now what is Lady Brit doing in the gallery? And, ah, the meeting on the wall with Laertes and Hamlet is over. Yeah, let's go to the, the Royal Gallery. I want to keep bothering Brit until they, I don't know, explode on me or something. <laughs> Just keep poking the hornet's nest. Oh. Oh, Laertes is here. Brit? What? Your, your face is so peculiar right now. Uh. He's dead. He's dead. What did you do, Laertes? No, surely you didn't. I was angry, and I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, that's what happened on the wall. You killed Hamlet. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I pushed Hamlet off the walls. Hamlet is dead. I killed him. Oh. Oh my god. Come here, love. What shall become of us now? Listen. Listen closely to my words. Your hands are stained with blood. But now that they are, you must stain them once more. And I know now that you have the courage to do it. The other nobles including my father, one Claudius dead. He's a poor king. In fact, my father asked me to spy on his court and find a way to kill him off. Ooh. So you were the spy the king was so concerned about. Also, you were the person who murdered us. Did you try to kill my sister? <gasps> me? Harm your sister? Of course not, love. Just frightened her a little, by accident. Ophelia has such an imaginative quality to her, don't you think? Of course. Of course you would never do my sister harm. I don't know why I suspected you. Liar. I should have known it was Brit all along. I did suspect him. If I move now, she'll only kill me again. I have to find another way. You must. If you could find it in your heart to use these hands further, then the whole bad tree will be uprooted. And with all these vile men dead and gone, you and I would linger to love and peace. There would no longer be anyone to obstruct us, you see? I... I'll do it. I'll go to see the king. I'll take his life. It should be me. 
Whatever we do now, we do it together. I'll accompany you. Lady Brit became upset, but we recover overnight, and we learn that Brit is a spy. Learned about a future event in which Laertes and Brit take action. Glad I was there for that conversation. <laughs> And on that note, I think that's a good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, well, what's the next thing on the list? Uh, hmm, unlikely event. Laertes and Brit take action. Why is that unlikely? I don't know, but I need to tell some people, mainly Bernardo, I think, that Brit is a spy. <laughs>